All right, we're going to go through a quick introduction to the torque sensor parameters which can be adjusted on a Falco system. Uh, turn on speed is the speed at which the motor will start providing assistance. This varies from 10 to 150 RPM. Uh, the base activation current, this essentially is the torque uh, which is produced by the motor when the torque sensor turns on. This value again can be adjusted from zero to almost up to uh, 14 or 13 values, right? The higher the value, the bigger the push you're going to get when the torque sensor comes on. So uh, if you want a soft start, then you want to start from zero. Uh, flip torque sensor command, this is a value of 0 or 1. This essentially allows you to, for the cable position to be routed uh, conveniently. And uh, so it will also allow you to look at uh, the reverse side of the torque sensor. Torque sensor has two sides, one is the front, one is the back. So by reversing this command, uh, you can start looking at the uh, at the opposite side of the torque sensor. In that case, it may not work uh, if uh, if uh, it is not configured properly uh, for that purpose. However, if you flip the axle, then you can flip use the flip torque sensor command for it to work. The torque sensor turn on value. This is the value uh, at which the torque sensor will uh, start to operate. Now this is the amount of the torque rider has to produce before the motor will start assisting. Uh, you can adjust that parameter anywhere from uh, 5 from 3 to 50 essentially. Uh, so that means that uh, the rider let's say approximately has to produce 5 newton meter of torque before the motor will start providing assistance. Or you could set this parameter to let's say 50. You say, okay, rider has to produce significant amount of torque before the motor has to provide assistance. So this you can use to optimize your ride experience. Uh, the current clamp is not available in today's firmware uh, in the motor. Turn on delay. Now, after you have achieved your turn on speed and after you have achieved your tor torque sensor turn on value, there is also inbuilt a delay before the torque sensor will turn on. And that can be adjusted from one count all the way up to 40 count. Now, this turn on delay uh, uh, will allow you, this particular value is in, uh, in milliseconds, and you have a factor of 10 here to convert that into seconds. But that gives you a rough idea that uh, long, uh, larger this number, larger is your delay in terms of uh, turning on the torque sensor. Uh, turn off delay similarly uh, the turn off delay is uh, after you stop pedaling uh, how long will it take for the torque sensor to turn off now this feature exists because as we know that the rider when the rider is pedaling faster and faster they lose ability to produce torque as a result the motor automatically compensates for that uh, now uh, that is compensated by introducing a turn-off delay. So the turn-off delay you can reduce based on your riding preference, b b based on your frame, etc., to any value you want between 1 and 40. Now, the one interesting parameter is the max torque sensor value. This adjusts the bandwidth or the range of the of the torques, torque produced by the rider on which the motor can act. Right, so this value can be adjusted from one all the way up to 50. Now, what does that mean? That means if uh, the default value is about five, right? Now, if you want a lot of power from the motor in a short with a very little effort, then you want to have a lower number. If you want, uh, a, if you want to have a larger range of your torque produced by the rider to which the motor responds, then you want to have this higher value. Normally, people are happy uh, with a value of around 9 or 10. That gives them a very optimum range and speed. Uh, torque sensor offset value. Now, this value we use to adjust for different uh, dropout angles. 
uh, sometimes you have got 15 or 20 degree angles. They are not perfectly vertical. In that case, you can use these values to adjust for dropout angles. Now, this will not work for anything which is horizontal at this point of time, uh, but it will correct uh, dropout, severe dropout angles, which are not exactly vertical. So this parameter, torque sensor offset and torque sensor turn on values can be used to adjust for any uh, any issues with respect to the dropout angle. A reference speed is uh, st not active uh, today in the in the motor firmware. So this these two parameters and uh, this here can be can be uh, ignored for the time being. Uh, we have two torque we have two sensor selections here. Uh, the second sensor selection allows you to it needs a crank sensor for torque sensor to operate. Torque sensor and crank sensor are considered one unit. So uh, this is uh, an option where uh, the torque sensor will not operate without uh, the crank sensor. And the throttle, of course, will override, um, will override the, uh, the, the both the torque sensor and crank sensor. The number one option actually is an interesting option in there throttle takes priority one followed by crank sensor followed by torque sensor so somebody who wants to have a very simpler setup you essentially want to uh, and you don't have a crank sensor or a throttle then the motor automatically defaults to torque center operation now once you have adjusted all of these parameters you want to hit broadcast a couple of times and uh, and you are pr good to go Okay, and as you can see, the color of the F changes once uh, the broadcast is being done. Thank you.